today we have black beach and yeah. with my photo that I have in mind I kind of want to bring a certain point to the attention of people something that Bali is dealing with at the moment which is trash problem and it's mostly on the west side of the island there's a whole lot of trash ending up on these otherwise beautiful shiny black beaches which you can still sometimes find if they clean them but i came to a more natural one let's call it it is everything but natural because there's a lot of trash around and michael he's a local guy so he explained me why all the trash is gathering on these black beaches on the west it's because the people on the island of java which is right in front of me right now they don't have this culture of cleaning up so they literally have all the trash gathered on trash hills into the wilds into nature and then they have the problem of flooding and this combination takes all the trash brings it via this stream of ocean or sea in between to bali so it's not a problem that the balinese are creating it's a problem that the javanese are creating so bad bad java people today i want to take a photo to put emphasis on this problem because in my opinion that seems to be quite hidden on social media and i would like the government to intervene so let's get a lot of attention to this artwork and uh, we're gonna look for the best spot now to put her surrounded by trash you'll understand the concept a bit later so this was um, a painting that i saw many years ago when i just started out as a photographer so it's been in my like inspiration folder for many years and for some reason, seeing all the trash in Bali recently made me remember this photo. So I want to kind of inspire myself on this shot, which I don't know how he meant it, but for me, it looks like this beautiful nude body without any dirt, you know, like a perfect, beautiful body, but surrounded with this trash. I find it a, a nice attention grabbing, thought provoking contrast. So I kind of want to go for that. Let's find our spot. Yeah, I see this cliff, the side of a cliff there. And I think that would be a nice uh, spot because then we have a dark wall as a background, not too much distraction there. And uh, I think that will give us nice privacy nice neutral setting to emphasize the model and the trash the original photo is kind of a nude model with just uh, sneakers on i would for sure to start it off i would go for some uh, bikini bottom at least because the frontal nude you won't see it's her back to the camera so she can kind of cover herself and i want to go for as neutral as possible so i would go for the smallest black bikini bottom that you have you don't have much to cover yourself <laughs> this little <laughs> The model is gonna change real quick and we found a little cave there and JC will hold a blanket in front of her so she can change without any people watching her. I think I found my first spot. It's kind of a Bermuda triangle, but let's call it the trash triangle that got my attention. Follow me. We got a nice triangle of uh, an empty bottle of liquor, a mentos pack and some Versace shoe wear potentially. So I would position her nicely in the middle here, maybe add some of these beautiful children's flip-flops, toothbrushes and other exotic goods on this beach that we can add to the shot and then see if, uh, if this scene looks good. And otherwise I got a second spot in mind. Let's try this one first. The woman on the painting is wearing sneakers. She brought boots, but in combination with this black sand, I think the whole look still works out. More of a grungy, hard rock and roll type of shot. Let's get those boots on, get the model there, and let's try out that first photo. Okay, the model's also protected with the boots, which is maybe nice to uh, walk here in the trash. You can be on your knees with your back to me. I would literally try the same pose. Yeah, I see, I see. Okay. And your hands will be here. So you see, uh, yeah, just for the photo, gonna gather some more trash. It's not difficult to find here. It needs to look more like still life. That's kind of what I understood. It cannot look too trashy. <laughs> it needs to look like well positioned still life. The process of putting trash in a nice arrangement. I've uh, often prepared the scene, but not often with trash. With removing trash, yes. <laughs> I think we created a nice balance between the more attractive trash and the empty blackness. Let's go try to position her as well as possible and grab that one shot because i'm kind of aiming for one perfect shot let's do it i 
I will take this photo first, but I just realized that the tattoo is kind of distracting a little bit. So contrary to the original image, I'm going to probably rotate her for the next one to see if I can get a clean shot without a tattoo. Yeah. Now we will try to rotate her. So the same, but in that direction. One more focus there. You okay? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's more annoying, I know this from experience, it's more annoying to keep in one position. For me, it looks easier, but I know that keeping tense in one position is kind of the most uh, hard on the body in some way. I guess it, it makes you tense everything for a long time. So, uh, thank you, you did a great job. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. Something like this. Yeah. You are happy with the pose? Good? Yeah, nice. Good. I also want to make a, a video like a reel for uh, Instagram versus reality. Yes. Got to think about my transition for that reel. She stands up and does some posing as if this is like a photo location. Three, two, one. Bye, Philippe.